This is Twit. In reporting the following story, Leo, I'm reminded of your wife Lisa's wisely, so to speak, because this story is about wise, uh, forbidding cameras of any kind inside your home. Nine to five Max headline read, wise camera breach let 13,000 customers view other people's homes. Oh, boy. Tom's hardware. Why security failure? Yet 13,000 customers see into other users' homes. GeekWire. Why security cam incident that exposed images to other users impacts more than 13,000 customers. And even our good old bleeping computer, Wise Camera Glitch, gave 13,000 users a peek into other homes. Now, one of our listeners, a user of Wise Monitoring Cameras, was kind enough to share the entire email he received from Wise. But Bleeping Computers coverage included all of those salient details and added a bit more color, as you might expect. Here's what Bleeping just wrote yesterday. They said, Wise shared more details on a security incident that impacted thousands of users on Friday and said that at least 13,000 customers could get a peek into other users' homes. The company blames a third-party caching client library recently added to its systems, which had problems dealing with a large number of cameras that came online all at once after a widespread Friday outage. Multiple customers have been reporting seeing other users' video feeds under the events tab. I bet there were some events in the app since Friday, with some even advising other customers to turn off the cameras until these ongoing issues are fixed. Wise wrote, quote, The outage originated from our partner AWS and took down Wise devices for several hours early Friday morning. If you tried to view live cameras or events during that time, you likely weren't able to. We're very sorry for the frustration and confusion this caused. As we worked to bring cameras back online, we experienced a security issue. Some users reported seeing the wrong thumbnails and event videos. Yeah. Yeah. Whose bathtub, is, th- Who's not, bathtub is that? That's not mama walking around. <laughs> oh. We immediately removed access to the events tab and started an investigation, unquote. We bravely did that. Okay. Wise says this happened because of the sudden increased demand. Uh, and I'll get to my skepticism on that in a minute. And led to the mixing of device IDs and user ID mappings. You don't ever want that to happen with your camera system, causing the erroneous connection of certain data with incorrect user accounts. As a result, customers could see other people's video feed thumbnails and even video footage after tapping the camera thumbnails in the Wise Apps Events tab. In emails sent to affected users, Wise confessed, quote, We can now confirm that as cameras were coming back online, about 13,000 WISE users received thumbnails from cameras that were not their own, and 1,504 users tapped on them. We've identified your WISE account as one that was affected. This means that thumbnails from your events were visible in another wise user's account and that a thumbnail was tapped. Oh, that is a confession. Somebody was looking at your video, baby. Most taps enlarged the thumbnail, but in some cases it could have caused an event (laughs) video to be viewed. Let me zoom in on that one. (laughs) What is that in the corner over there? Yeah, that's right. Wise has yet to share the exact number of users who had their video surveillance feeds exposed in the incident. The company has now added an extra layer of verification. Oh, you betcha. For users who want to access video content via the events tab to ensure that this issue will not happen in the future. Is that really your video you're about to look at? 
Additionally, it adjusted systems to avoid caching during user device relationship checks until it can switch to a new client library, get rid of that old cache, capable of working correctly, which is, would be convenient, during extreme events, they had in quotes, like the Friday outage. Okay, now, I like Wise, and their cameras are adorable little beautifully designed cubes. You know, they look like something Apple would produce. But at this stage in the evolution of our understanding of how to do security on the Internet, I cannot imagine streaming to the cloud any content from cameras that are looking into the interior of my home. You know, maybe the backyard, uh, but even then, you know, who knows? You know, the cloud and real-time images of the contents of our homes do not mix. I understand that for most users, the convenience of being able to log in to a wise camera monitoring website to remotely view one's residential video cameras is difficult to pass up, you know, seductive, if you weren't listening to this podcast. And the whole thing operates with almost no setup, you know, and wise's response to this incident appears to be everything one could want. I mean, oh, they've really, they've been honest, which could not have been easy. The letter that our listener shared with me, unlike the letter that Bleeping Computer quoted, said that his account had not been affected. So, you know, Wise was on the ball and they clearly got logging working because they knew that 1,504 people did, you know, click on a thumbnail. Like, what is that? That doesn't look like my living room. Click. Oh, it's not my living room. Wow. Who is that? Anyway. Uh, I should add, however, that I'm a bit skeptical about the idea that simply overloading a caching system could cause it to get its pointers scrambled and its wires crossed, you know, thus causing it to, you know, to get its users confused. You know, if it really did happen that way, it was a crappy cache. And I'm glad they're thinking about, like, revisiting this whole thing because there was a problem somewhere. Anyway, uh, I do like the cameras. I'm just not going to let them be exposed to the outside world. That makes no sense. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little snippet from Security Now. If you want the whole show, you can get it at our website, twit.tv slash SN. Of course, you can subscribe to Security Now on your favorite podcast or just click one of the links below.